Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I have got a watercolor Wednesday for you and this time I am using a stamp from Hero Arts. Uh, they are calling this their Feast Cling Background and I did give you a look at this when I did my latest unboxing. I have never seen a stamp quite like this before and I actually sat down that night and did this coloring. I just couldn't wait to work with it and get my watercolors on this picture. So I am working on my usual Fabriano 140 pound hot press watercolor paper. I'm going to stamp this out twice to make sure I get a nice crisp image and I'm using my VersaFine Onyx Black ink for that. I'm then going to take my Simon Says Stamp Clear Embossing Powder and I'm going to place that all over the image. I did, um, before I started filming, I did hit this whole panel with my powder tool just so that I wouldn't have anything clinging in those little um, spaces of some of those vegetables were really, really tiny. So I will go ahead and heat set this. And this is a little bit of a cheat when you have an image like this that has lots of small elements to it because it's going to be embossed and it's got that raised edge around it. It makes it a lot easier to put a drop of paint in those tiny little spaces and you don't have to worry about it running into the color next to it. So um, that does really help out a lot when you're doing a small or an image that has small pieces like this. So once I have that completely heat embossed, I will go ahead and tape that down to my painter board and I'm going to go ahead and get this colored in. I am using my usual Gansai Tampi watercolors and my Santa Fe brushes. I have spared you the coloring in of the table. It was really just a few layers of a light brown so that I could get a wash and then have a few areas that were darker than others. Uh, I have sped this up quite a bit. I've left in the remainder of the coloring. It took me about an hour and 45 minutes to get the whole thing completed just because there were so many little spaces to fill in, but I really enjoyed playing around with this and deciding what colors to make all of my dishes and making even the different types of greens for all of the vegetables that are on that table. Uh, so I will go ahead here and turn up the music for those of you who enjoy the process and for those of you who want to just watch me finish putting the card together, you'll want to meet me at around the 10 and a half minute mark.
So now that my panel is completely dry, I've gone ahead and trimmed that down to four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna pop this up using some foam tape and this will give some dimension, but it also helps with any warping that's on the panel to keep it nice and flat. I'm gonna place this on the top of my card base that's made from MFT's Tropical Teal cardstock. For the inside, I've got a Nina panel trimmed to four by five and a quarter as well. And I pulled in a sentiment from the Stamping Bella Oddball Thanksgiving set. This one came with two, so I'm gonna get to use the second one here. Uh, and this one is really nice. It reads, let our lives be filled with both thanks and giving. I've stamped that out using my close to my heart black ink. I will add some ATG to the back and place that on the inside of my card base. And that will complete the card for today. Here are a few close-ups of the finished card. In the description box below, you'll find my blog post, which has additional photos and links to the supplies I used. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.